Story this Saturday at 6 o'clock, convenience store workers under attack. Police say that two workers were held at gunpoint, one narrowly missing being shot. This happening at the Circle K back on August 26th at 32nd Street and Roosevelt. Tonight, the two men involved still on the run. Thanks so much for joining us tonight here on 12 News at 6. I'm Jonathan McCall. Rachel is on assignment this weekend. Team 12's Jade Cunningham joining us from the Alert Center tonight with more on this incident and the others that have placed Circle K workers in harm's way. Jade. Well, good evening, Jonathan. That's right. It seems in the past two weeks, employees at convenience stores across the valley are becoming targets of some pretty scary crime. There have been at least three incidents that have happened, and in most cases, the suspects are still at large. In this particular incident on August 26, surveillance video shows one man pointing a gun at two employees while another man casually opens a gate and walks around the counter. Officers say the two men stole $40 and ran off, but not before firing one shot, which missed one of the women. It comes as Phoenix police investigate another violent robbery from August at a Circle K near 32nd Street and Broadway Road. This one is tough to watch, but you see a woman hitting an employee in the face with a brick until police say the employee gave up the cash register code. Police are looking for two women. Circle K also offering a $6,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. And then also recently, this flash mob hit up four stores in West Phoenix and Goodyear. Four individuals on surveillance are accused of going to four stores and taking items. Phoenix police saying during the robberies, one person shows the clerk a firearm with an extended magazine, while another demands money from the register. It's believed the suspected individuals are in their late teens to early 20s. And we reached out to police today who say they are asking the community for any information regarding any of the people involved in these crimes. They say the department is committed to ensuring the safety of each community member and that patrol officers working with neighborhood enforcement teams are dedicated to crime suppression. If you have any information, call Phoenix Police or you can remain anonymous by calling Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. In the Alert Center, Jay Cunningham, 12 News.